Clive for the Blue Ribbon event. Who cares what Clive won today? This is the main event. The <laughs> FA Cup winning uh, answers quiz. Uh, if you don't know how this works, watch some of the other films and you'll soon get the hang of it. Each answer contains the name of an FA Cup winning town or city or team. Maybe partly, maybe in total, maybe it's part of the answer, maybe as the answer. But here we go, I'll, I'll show you an example. Number one. This is a proper question or an example. These are, no, these are it. In 1812, Robert Jenkinson became Prime Minister of the United... <laughs> Clyde. Liverpool. That's so tempting. <sighs> Liverpool is correct. What does an American call a bowler hat? Michael Darby. It's correct. Derby. Derby. <laughs> Derby. Like As in Derby County. With a 48 test batting average of <coughs> Preston. Bradman? No. Preston? Bradman? No. 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 Uh, no. 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 With a 48 test batting average of more than 58 per test. Who, along with Frank Waddle and Clyde <laughs> My, uh, Michael Everton Weeks? Oh, <laughs> first <laughs> Everton Weeks is the correct answer. So we've got my Mermaid's and Cyclops out there. There can't be that many left now, can there? <laughs> A cocktail comprising equal measures of gin and Kina Lillet with dashes of orange bitters and creme de noyau. Shaken with ice, strained and garnished with a twist of orange peel. George Orwell, Ian Fleming, <coughs> Michael, Wicked. no minus one. <laughs> Sam? God, I was going to say that. Portsmouth. Preston? Uh, Chelsea. Minus one. Rose? I suppose you can guess. No, I was going to say Wiggins. So. Yeah. Uh, George Orwell, Ian Fleming, Frank Turner and David Cameron along with that cocktail, are all what? Twat. Elliot. All the Torians. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Boom! I preferred Samson. Don't you love all the Torians, my Blake Cock? Let me do Jack Ah! Anthony. Catherine. Cross. Edmund Hall. Hilda. Hugh. John and Peter are all saints that have colleges named after Debs. Oxford University. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what year did they win, Debs? Uh, 18... 18... You're such a football nerd, quite honestly. I can't believe you. Sort of. They've been, they've just been revising this week. For this no, time. they haven't. People don't be that. I glanced at the list. I haven't got my list in the back. What is the only football club to win the FA Cup? To be named after what is now a capital city. <coughs> Elliot. Cardiff. Yep. Woohoo! Oh. Cardiff. Oh, wow. Right. Happy she's been all afternoon. Five. Uh, <laughs> family 14. Uh. Uh, ignore these scars, it's, it, it's the middle scar you need to be looking at. I've kind of. Uh, that's Elliot, isn't it? Yeah, it's the middle scar which counts. Whatever. What is the first thing that the police try to find when searching for missing or stolen dogs? Preston. Leeds United. Just Leeds. 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 Well, there's only one that's a Leeds, isn't there? The white dog. Leeds. Leeds will be fine. I'll give you that one. You took Kenny to go with that Kenny Katona thing the other week ago. You shout answers out and then... Yeah, because you're a pedantic question master. As well. From the Arabic, which means uh, from the Arabic for manufacturing shop, what Italian slash French slash English word describes a place where arms and ammunition? <laughs> Martin. Arsenal. Arsenal is correct. You all knew that coming up, didn't you? Number nine. Dents a Munich tree. D e n t s. A M U N I C H T R E D. Dead. Manchester United. Yes. <laughs> Manchester United is an anagram of which football team? In sports governing bodies, what does the middle A in A A A stand for? Michael. Athletic. Athletic is correct. 
based on the novel of the same name by Richard Price, which 1979 American drama film, written and directed by Philip Kaufman, follows a gang of Italian-American teenagers and their ongoing power struggle with a rival gang called <coughs> Elliot. West Side Story? No. What FA Cup list have you been reading? <laughs> uh, a rival gang called the Fallen Baldies. Uh, Lake Up. Wanderers. The Wanderers is correct. Rock and Cock, um, baby. Rock and Cock. <laughs> for those of you that have seen the film, you'll know. For those of you who haven't, I've just been around to myself. <laughs> just watch in Bruges. 12. Which British Army Corps are commonly called Martin? And the Royal Engineers. The Royal Engineers is absolutely right. Come on, Clive. <laughs> He's giving us a chance, shut up. <laughs> okay, uh, this is really the, the point of stare. <laughs> Henry Percy, <laughs> my god, Foster. <laughs> 24.5. is in the lead, Michael. Oh, please don't take all the prizes up the North East. In 2002, who was the first winner of the ITV reality TV programme, I'm a Celebrity? <laughs> Preston. Blackburn. Tom Blackburn. Yeah, Blackburn's sufficient. Blackburn Rovers or Blackburn Olympic? Uh, both will be fine. Blackburn, yeah, I'll no, just... Uh, where are you? There you uh, are. Blackburn's about 15 miles up that way. All to play for. That does sound better than a Lancastrian accent as well. <laughs> Blackburn. 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 Which football team take their name from their location and a Wesleyan Chapel in Handsworth? Preston. West Bromwich Albion? No. Matt Lakeup? Lynn Orion? No. Can you have a question again? Sure you can. Which football team take their name from their location and a Wesleyan Chapel in Handsworth? Wesleyan Chapel in what? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Handsworth. Handsworth. As in Handsworth Revolution by Steel Pulse. Terrific album. Rhodes. West Bromwich Albion. That's right. No, we've had that already. West Elliot! West Ham. No, it's Aston Villa for the second time today. Is that Ham? Is that Ham? Is that Ham? Come on, Sam Strand, you're not doing you much good, is it? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, born 16th of October 1925, who played Miss Freud in the. <laughs> Preston. Oh. Minus one. No, that's a Minus one. Who plays Miss Freud in The Lady Vanishes? <laughs> Sam. Say it! David Mabel's No. Oh! Yes, yeah, Sam, I've got it. Uh, oh. Who plays Miss Freud oh, in The Lady Vanishes? A guaranteed price in Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Oh. <laughs> Laycock. Tangible Lansbury. Yes. Very, very, very. very, very. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, where, where does she play in Lady Spanishers? What's, what's this film? No, the, the early 90. Ness version, the 77 version. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because the early Ness version in 77. Ah, I've done time for The Butler, Bird, Ghost Dog, and the last one, Michael. Forrest Whitaker. Oh. Forrest Whitaker were all title roles for which Academy Award winning actor? It's not happening at first, is it? What trophy is awarded to the man of the match in Rugby League's youth? <laughs> Elliot. That's Todd. Rhodes. <laughs> Harry Sunderland. <laughs> Harry Sunderland trophy. What, what's that for? And finish the question. Man in the grand final. Oh, final. Well, yeah, I've definitely finished the question. Harry Sunderland, uh, Harry Sunderland trophy. Yeah, because of the press. John Bon Jovi had Midnight in. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Time's up. The Fratellis had a dagger from <laughs> Sam. Oh my god! Chelsea. Yay! <laughs> uh, Mike, I'm going to touch you a point. Nice nice like, nice like, nice. I don't like you that much and you're in front. What's um, the one? Uh, put, um, just knocking <laughs> the second place. Sam, you've got uh, two points. 
Steve Rhodes and Michael McPartland duking it out. I might wear a so I might as well all the different. Next one. The club book of the Tapali Hunt from 1765. By the way, fox hunting is fucking stupid. It, it is. The club book of the Tapali Hunt, 1765, contains the first known citation of which idiom when it states that Mr. John Barry was sent to Lakeham. Spooner, is it? No, minus one. Michael. Coventry. Coventry is oh, correct. No. Mr. Who? John. Uh, John, uh, uh, John Barry. <laughs> oh, obviously, before we start, James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we turned about giving James Bond the cloud to the hunt. Also, Oscar winning Scarfer. John Barry's Midnight Cowboy, Dancing with Wolves. Yeah. Out of Africa. Yeah. Next question. Jimmy Death. <laughs> what name is generally given to the Catholic <laughs> religious order of Elliot? Malthusian! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carthusian. Okay, Elliot, what year did they win the FA Cup? 1877 ish. Oh, yeah, 1870 some point. Ish. You so whipped Clive's ass on that. It's brilliant. <laughs> if that's the only thing that I've done good today, then I'll take that, yeah. Which Battersea railway station is the busiest in the UK? <laughs> Preston. Clapham Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Well done. And that's Preston. So, seven to go. What name is applied to the effect of foreign companies doing well in London? It is also the name of a film romance between Peter Colt and Lizzie Bradbury, played by... Wimbledon. Wimbledon. That played by... Uh, Preston Dunst. And... Yeah. yeah. Kirsten Dunstan's best two films without a doubt are Wag the Dog and Small Soldiers. You get two points. What about Interview with a Vampire? Not seen it. He's cracking in that. Nah, I've got to watch it then. Here we go. What town is the headquarters of the South Yorkshire Joint Secretariat? <coughs> Michael Barnsley. It's correct. Home of CJ. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the worst television quiz show ever made? Pickney. <laughs> CJ's. Oh, High Pines. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> Is there any questions? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Well, the, the age, which I've not seen. Uh, that's a tough question to ask because it's not a county, it's not a, a county town or anything. That's its official name. Headquarters of the Joint Secretariat. Next. What English FA Cup winning football team has a name, when, when translated, gives the name of another capital city? Of a capital city, sorry. Which English FA Cup winning? Sam. Blackpool. Blackpool is correct. Yes, well done, yeah. 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 Name the tobacco in industry whistleblower played by Russell Crowe in Michael Mann's film The Insider. His first name was Geoffrey. He got Michael Mann a month ago. Oh. His name was Geoffrey Wigand. I was struggling by the time I got to number 28 or 29. Still struggling. No, I'm glad I stopped struggling now. Wigand. Wigand, his name is. Another very tough one. What is the alliterative surname of Benjamin? who is the only constant member of the platinum-selling American hard rock post-grunge alternative metal outfit, Breaking Benjamin. <laughs> Laycock. Button. No, no, not Bolton. Martin. Salton. No, uh, I'm going to give you another guess because it's alliterative, so it's, uh, it's Benjamin. <laughs> Time's up. Uh, Elliot. Bolton. Bol no, not Bolton. Debs. Bradford. Not Bradford. Michael. Birmingham. Not Birmingham. Sam. Bristol. No, Red but Preston. Right. No. Brentford. No, it's Benjamin Burnley. I like that. Oh. 
Yeah, they're terrific. I like Breaking Benjamin as well. Okay, uh, it's basically a one-man show. Anyway, two to go. Time, I think. I wish you could zoom in on this. In Game of Thrones, oh, 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 what surname did Ramsay Snow have come uh, Michael Bolton. Oh, 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 Sam Snow, they're all bastards. <laughs> Ramsay Bolton's an special bastard. Oh, he's number one bastard. He's the best bastard since Gladiator and Joachim Phoenix. Oh. Right, next, so you get two points for that, and a good two points, which kind of making it look like pretty hot favourites of this. You're going to have to go very wrong on the last one. Third thing. Which regular competitor in Lightspeed Quiz hates Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's a great answer, Preston. He thinks you're not Laycock. Laycock. Uh, answer, Laycock. He hates Game of Thrones. He secretly hates it. No, I'm going to give you the pipes there. So, uh, Although I must admit, Laycock is a little town near Keighley. I wonder where it's a little bit. I would have been one way of it. We've got to round things off here with. Well, we've got to round things off here. Hey, thank you for coming. That was great. Give yourself a round of applause.